all on the biggest stage in the state. WIC Day at Lucas Oil Stadium. Four games taking place in the home of the Colts. The day got going with two teams with eyes on the conference crown, Northview and Sullivan. Early in this one, the Knights have it after a botched kickoff. They cash in. Tucker Stewart to Tyler Rector, tips it to himself. Somehow he reels it in for the first touchdown of the day. I know the Arrows glad to have this guy back. Their star tailback Brooks Wesley from in tight. He ties things up at seven. That's when Stewart goes back to work. This time he buys some time with his feet, swings it to Kelly Hawkins out of the backfield. A slippery move to the end zone for the Northview advantage. Sullivan down two scores here, but they're battling to stay in it. Mikey Willis hooks up with Michael Hutchcraft. That brings the Arrows back within seven, but this day belonged to the Knights. They win 28-20, playing a great game in a key WIC battle. And our kids competed hard all the game, you know, and that's a good team that we just beat. Uh, so, you know, I'm glad they took advantage of this opportunity. Not everybody gets a chance to play in a, in a venue like this and, and on a nice day like this. And, you know, I think our kids kind of seize the moment and, and uh, you know, they're able to walk off the field feeling good. Second game of the day featured Owen Valley against Edgewood. Evan Wood going to work for the Patriots. He dumps it off to Seth Sparks for the score. That gives Owen Valley an 18-6 halftime lead. In the second half, a Patriot fumble gives the Mustangs good field position. Gabe Koontz takes advantage. He busts between the tackles for the touchdown run. That score cut the lead down to six, but it's Owen Valley hanging on to win this one. 32-19 the final. The Patriots come out on top. South Vermillion pumped to be at Lucas Oil Stadium doing ba battle with Brown County. The Wildcats trailing early on in this one, trying to cut into the lead. Jordan Brands to Tristan Spivey, sheds some tacklers, rumbles down near the red zone. That allows the South Vermillion signal caller to go to work. Around the end, Brands dives for the pylon. He gets the Wildcats on the board. Unfortunately for football fans in the southern part of Vermillion County, the Wildcats couldn't score again until late. They fall in this one 43, 42 to 13. The final game of the night, West Vigo taking on Linton, ranked number one in Class 1A, and the Miners start things off with a bang. Dane Rupska airing it out for Bo Eaton. That is a 61 yard bomb to the house, and the Miners go up 6 0. They're nowhere near done yet, folks. Rupska again, he's so tough under center. This time showing some nice touch on a touchdown pass to Grant Stom. It's 12 0 Miners. West Vigo not giving up. Jimmy Maples rolls out on this play. Check out the one-handed grab by Daniel McLean. That moves the chains for the Vikings. But Linton showing why they're the number one ranked team in the state in 1A. Austin Hale walks it in for the score. A big win for the Miners. They win 45-14.